Hello everyone, my name is Sean and I am the artist and creator behind Christ Life Art. I hope all of you guys are doing well and I want to welcome you back out today to my little studio in my backyard to talk about my next print. It's a lino cut titled The Fruit of Faith. This print has its roots in Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19. The passage reads, Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on high places. When reading this passage, it brings me to realize that sometimes the fruit of faith is more vital than the fruit of the fields. The context of Habakkuk's writing is intense. Habakkuk is actually wrestling with God over the Lord's plan to judge his people. But in the end, Habakkuk comes to grow in his faith and trust in the Lord, understanding that God is not one to be worshipped because of what he gives, but because of who he is. When thinking on these themes while working on this print, it brought to mind some fruits of faith that we need produced in our lives. The first fruit of faith is a trust that God's ways are higher than ours. Isaiah 55, 8-9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. When the fields in our lives are bare, our faith must rest solid in God's plans, His purposes, His ways, even when we don't understand them. Someone once wisely said that when we cannot understand God's hand, we must trust His heart. When we don't, can't understand what He's doing, we have to understand who He is. What we know about God, what is clear to us in the scripture about his nature and his character, must inform our faith to trust him when we are experiencing something that is difficult. He is for us and not against us. He is near the brokenhearted and gives grace to the humble. He is a just, righteous, holy, and loving God. We know who he is. And it is in the moment of resolved trust even when we face a barren field, that our God produces rich, beautiful, God-glorifying fruit in our lives. The second fruit of faith is an internal perspective. 2 Corinthians 4, 16-18 says, So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light Momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Habakkuk says that he will rejoice, not in some ambiguous idea or philosophy, but in the God of his salvation. Salvation is such a rich and deep reality. Not only has God saved those who trust Him from their sin, but His Spirit dwells within them. God not only transforms us from the inside out, but also transforms every experience we go through. Everything has a purpose, and it is all working to an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. But we may not even see it while on this earth, and that's why it is a fruit of faith. We trust God for it and glorify Him while the fruit of the field has failed. Because we know it's producing something we will later reap in eternity as we dwell in His presence. The third fruit of faith is a praise for our firm foundation. Psalm 4-7 says, You have put more joy in my heart than they when their grain and wine abound. God often uses difficulty to unhinge our faith from trusting in things other than Him and reattach us to Himself. 
And when that happens, the joy that flows from that moment often makes us wonder why we were trusting something else in the first place. Habakkuk says that God makes his feet like the deer's, treading on high places. In my print, I used a deer skull to represent the reality of what it can feel like in our lives when we go through grief or trials or even just confusing times. However, the deer's head is crowned with life and its antlers with fruit. Though we may feel we are wasting away, there is a joy available from God that fills us and brings us to the height of mountaintops that no fruit of the field could ever give us. Only God, through the fruit of faith, gives us such a rich, abundant, and joyful life. Okay, so that's all about my new print, Fruit of Faith. So if you'd like to get one of these handmade prints, you can check them out on my Etsy shop. I'll have them there. And so every purchase of a print uh, helps me keep doing this. It helps me keep making more art and telling people about Jesus. That's my whole mission and purpose in this. It's not just to make more art or make more prints or even make more sales. Uh, my purpose is to share a message, and that is how when the fruit of the field fails, we have hope. It, I mean, it's all about pointing people to Christ. And so you can purchase a print, help me keep doing this, or if you want to support me on a regular basis and get some benefits out of that, you can find me on Patreon. And so Patreon helps uh, me connect with patrons that want to support my art and get some sweet uh, perks in that. So I'll have links to all of that in, in the post. Also for this round, I was really on the fence to if I was gonna do another art drop or not. Um, this is where I package up my art and I drop them around the Oklahoma City area. So as things are winding back up after the COVID-19 uh, uh, quarantine, I was really on the fence this time, but I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and hold off one more time my next print is a print titled Pray, Trust, Move. And out of that print, I'm going to definitely do some drops out of that. So be looking for that. For this print, though, I will do another giveaway. So I'll be giving away three prints. And be sure you follow me on Instagram or Facebook and watch for those posts. You can search Christ Life Art on either of those platforms and find me. Uh, but give me a follow and watch for the giveaway post and then get entered. And hopefully I'll be sending you a print. Okay, guys, I just want to say thank you uh, for all of you who watch these videos. I, I really appreciate that. I mean, that's why I'm doing this is to try and get messages out for people to see um, and show some cool art, hopefully at the same time. So if you watch these and if God is sharing something with you or encouraging you through this, I would love to hear about that. You can drop me a comment or shoot me a message. But that's my hope and prayer is that as you watch these, that God is is moving in your heart to encourage you. Um, also, a special thanks to all my patrons. You guys, um, you guys know my heart, man. You know why I'm doing this, and you guys are making it possible. So thank you guys so much for that. So again, thank all of you. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching this video today. And as you go on with your life, uh, wherever you go from here, I hope you remember that there's one God. He's given us one goal, and that is His glory.